what is going on guys judo sloth here and today i wanted to bring you this raid from back when i did my titan push this wasn't featured in the videos at the time but it is a great base for the quattro lava lunion attack so i thought i'd share it for if you want to learn it or if not just sit back and watch me wreck this base so the first thing you want to look at is the air defense in this one you'll see they're in a nice square fashion and also if there was a lava hound on there all of the defences around it would be shooting at the Hound, meaning your balloons are free to go in and take them out. Secondly, I'm going to look at the direction of the air sweepers. On this one, he had only built the one and it is pointing to the right, so I'm going to attack from the top left. In doing this, you'll see that the square boxes on the outside only have the mines and pumps in. This means that my balloons aren't going to get clumped over a defence in there, and they're going to get a good spread across them initial line of defences because what you don't want with this attack strategy is for your balloons to clump up, especially not in the beginning. Because since balloons do so much damage, if you put more than a few of them on a defence, a lot of them won't be doing anything and you're basically wasting DPS. So on to the attack. The first part is to bring your lava hounds in at different angles towards the air defence. This aims to set off any air bombs in order to protect your balloons. I like to then use a two finger drop from either side in order to get a good spread across my balloons. I then reinforce the center with my castle balloons because I'm unable to spread them out evenly. Spell deployment is then very important. Drop two rage spells side by side to hopefully cover most of the balloons. Your balloons are also going to have time to get in and over the air defenses whilst the lava hounds are tanking before they move off. So make sure these are deployed within the base and not on the edges, right over that initial line of defences. On this base, it was single target infernos, so I used a freeze to initially protect the lava hound. If they're multi infernos, you want to use these to protect your balloons. Now we've already passed it, but your third rage wants to be used to power your balloons into and over the core. You need to watch the flight path of your balloons, but in general, this will be centralised and in front of the previous two rage spells. If you're going for the two star, you'll be putting your heroes in from the side that you attacked from. From my experience, if you haven't got a perfectly clear path to the town hall, put your king in first to get through the initial layer of wall, because the queen's range can cause her to go off track. If you're going for the three star, you probably want to do what I did in this case, which is bring your heroes in from the opposite end in order to distract them back end defences and start taking them out whilst your remaining balloons come through. This can also be done as a town hall nine, obviously without the freeze spells, and if you're attacking a nine, it's often a good idea to bring a heal spell for the core. There we have it guys, I hope that was helpful. As ever, like the video, comment below and subscribe for more Clash of Clans. This has been Judo Sloth. Peace out. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.